Summer is definitely not the time you think about sugarcane harvest. We're far removed from planting, harvesting, and grinding. However, workers all across Louisiana are gearing up for the 100-day grinding season by stripping down each processing plant. As Twyla's Neil Malasson shows us, it's a lot of hard work. Here's what the Lasuka sugar mill looks like in the fall when it's blowing and going. Here's what it looks like right now. These silent mountains of metal are normally where sugarcane gets dropped off. Ag Division Manager John Abair says while it's quieter right now, it's no less of an important time. Currently we're in a phase of going through every component of the factory, inside and out, um, and going through maintenance, inspecting every component, and then making sure that that's all back together in time for the start of harvest season. Abair says one bright spot has been COVID-19 hasn't affected their workflow. It has affected some delivery of some of our components, but I feel that for the most part, a lot of what we are implementing has already been on site. Uh, so, you know, I, I cautiously say that to this point, we haven't seen a, a very, very big impact from COVID-19. The maintenance, replacement, and repair that's going on right now isn't the only thing occurring during this downtime. Behind me, as you can see, there's a lot of activity. They're building some new mill capacity here at Lasuka that will be online in time for the 2020 sugarcane harvest. The cane first arrives at a factory and ends up in a yard or in trailers and it'll enter the factory through the cane belt system we have in the background. And the cane flows from the right to the left It'll enter the shredder, which is not yet complete. Uh, as it's going through the shredder, it'll prepare the cane and uh, bring it to a consistency of very much like confetti. The finer we prepare the cane, the better extraction we'll get, the more sugar we'll get out of the cane. Once it leaves the shredder, it'll continue moving this direction and it'll enter the first mill. And then from the first mill, it'll enter the second, third, fourth, and fifth. And from there, it'll flow out the milling area and go to the boilers where the bag asses use this fuel. So while things may look pretty unraveled right now, you can bet this mill will be back better than ever come fall. Reporting from St. Martinville, I'm Neil Malasson. If you want to see Lasuka in full operation, check out Neil's story from this past fall on our website at twilatv.org. Now, if you're in the St. Martinville area where Lasuka is located, you might want to stop in this charming town Lots of great places to eat. There are also lots of interesting places, including this historic marker a block off Main Street. The Notre Dame of Perpetual Sucker Church was established in 1938 as a place of worship. It was done so as a means for two African-American priests ordained in 1934 to lead a congregation. They were among the first in the United States to do so, well ahead of the Civil Rights Movement and installed in a mostly rural area surrounded by farmland. As you can see, the original bell from that church is on display out front, still serving the community. The Notre Dame Church has resumed masses, but they ask you to please wear a mask if you're going to stop by for a visit.